Hello and welcome to Technic Force tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Gmail API in Pursu app. When you log in to your Pursu app account, go to the Mailers tab on the left side navigation menu. Start by clicking on the plus icon located in the bottom right corner to add one. From our last video, we talked about SMTP on how to add and use it. If you haven't seen that one, this is your sign. Check that out. Now that we are going to talk about the integration of Gmail, having it has many benefits. It can let you send thousands of emails in one day. And APIs are also faster than SMTP. Let me show you how to do it. From here, it will ask you for your information. Enter your title. I'll have it Gmail API. Select your from name, from email, reply name, and reply email. It doesn't matter whether it is an API or SMTP. Now, to integrate your Gmail API, you need credentials. You will have to enter your client ID, username, client secret, and API key. To get these following, we need to go to a new tab and pull up console.cloud.google.com. The first thing you need to do is to add your project by clicking on the button next to Google Cloud Platform. Click Add New Project button and directly add your project name. You can add everything. When you're done, hit Create. You will be notified that your project is created. Click on your project. Click on the three-line icon located on the top left corner and select APIs and Services. Then, go to the library. Search for the API you wanted to use. In our case, we'll search for Gmail API. Click the Gmail API. Let's go ahead and click on the Enable button as it is not yet authorized. Now that we have enabled our Gmail API, let us go to Credentials on the left navigation menu. Hit on the Configure Content Screen button as it requires you to configure. On your OO Content Screen, choose External and click Create. It will ask you for your app information. Enter your app name, which is the Purso app. Add a user support email. On the app domain section, you have to add the application homepage. You can actually enter your website, but if you don't have one, consider adding Purso Apps homepage. In the application privacy policy link, you can add the homepage link, but you can also need to consider adding slash privacy. You can also add application terms of service link if you want to, but this is optional. So let me leave that. On this authorized domain section, actually it doesn't really matter what links of the homepage you will add. You can use your own, but you have to highlist our domain, which is the Pursu app on this domain. You just have to click this add domain button and paste our domain. You can add your email address to this developer contact information. When everything's done, click on Save and Continue. Going back to the OAuth Consent screen tab, as you can see, it asks you about the publishing status. All you need to do is to click on this Publish App button and click OK to push the production. So let's go back to this Credentials tab and create credentials by clicking on the Create Credentials button. And then select OAuth Client ID. Select the application type. Let us select web application. You can add any name you want. On these redirected URLs, you can get this on your Pursu app. Just click to copy and paste it. Then click on create. A box pops up to inform you that your OO client is created. You can now have your client ID and the client secret. Copy your client ID and paste it to your Pursu app. Same goes to your client secret. Copy and paste it. 
To also enter your username, use the username that you have added when you created your credentials. To get this, just go to your profile and copy the email address so you can paste it into your username. The next one that we need to get is the API key. What are you going to do is to click this generate button beside and a new window pops up. Choose the account that you use when you set up your credentials. In any way that you received a notification about this, just click on advanced and go to pursuap.in and grant pursuap.in permission by allowing it. Allow, allow, allow. Just allow everything. Allow. So you can now have the API key. You can now copy everything and paste it. All done. If you want to check whether or not it is working, just click this test the mailer button. Try putting your email ID, add some random title, and some random content. As you can see, mail sent successfully. Go to your email and check it. When everything's done, click on save. So we have now integrated our Gmail API with its title, type, and the date added. You also have the actions so you can either delete them or edit them. If you already have the data credentials in Google Cloud, just select the project that you created. Just go to the left navigation menu, click on the API and services, select on library, then search for Gmail API. Just click on manage, go to credentials, you can also create new if needed. So here are now your keys. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. We also have a bunch of videos and demos on this channel. Take a look and you might also find tutorials about the other apps too, which might help you succeed in internet marketing. Thanks for watching!